Good evening. It's good to have everyone with us this evening. I hope you're like me and enjoyed your Bible class. It's always good to open God's Word and study. A few announcements before we uh, get started. Um, we're asking you to review your bulletin and remember to pray for all those that are listed. Um, I have a number down here. Uh, <clears throat> I may be repetitive here, but... Uh, Remember that Ray Bell and A.J. Bracey and Boyd Chase came forward Sunday confessing sin, so let's keep them in our prayers. Um, sympathy is extended to Dean Nettles and his family. Pat, uh, Pat Nettles, his mother of Dean, passed away Tuesday. The funeral will be later on in Texas, and we'll, we'll know a little bit more about that later. Did want to mention again to you that... Uh, Terrell Wilder uh, obeyed the gospel over here. He's over here by Logan. If you haven't met him, please get to know him. He's been added to the church by the Lord, and so we're thankful for that. Also, uh, <clears throat> John Allman was baptized by his father last night, so we we'll need to welcome John into our family. Uh, I know Johnny and Abby are in the family are just pleased to death. Keep Paul and Joanne, <clears throat> continue to keep them in your prayers as he is. Can he, Paul continues to deal with his health problems. Same thing for Harold Mobley. <clears throat> he did have surgery, but uh, the surgery has been completed, and I think he's healing up pretty good. Uh, pray for Esther Thomas. She's at home with COVID-19. Uh, and um, there are a few uh, announcements here about youth. On, on July the 23rd, there will be, quote, life-sized life games is, is what they're calling it. This is for all the youth at 7 p.m. in the upstairs, upstairs Fellowship Hall. If you have need to know, if you're a youth parent and you want to know what that's all about, I can only tell you to see Logan because I have no idea. Life-sized games. Uh, July the 25th is going to be Junior's Christmas in July. Uh, that will be after evening service, July the 29th, TNT at the home of James and Ginger Kessler at 6 p.m. So before we um, met, uh, before Bible class this evening, we, we met with a young man. His name is Frederick Wilson. Frederick, would you raise your hand? He's over here to my left. He is quite a young man. He was baptized into Christ probably about a year ago. He, he is very studious. When you ask him Bible questions, he sounds like he's been in the church for 20 years. So he's quite studious and studies hard, and he wants to uh, work with us here at Sawwell Road, and we're just tickled pink to really have him uh, because he's a young man that really is zealous to work. So his name, again, is Frederick Wilson. So get to know him, just a, a nice, nice young man. Uh, he does work on Sunday mornings uh, down, I, I believe in the, I may be wrong about this, but but uh, I know it's, anyway, he, he does, he's, he, he will be away from us most Sunday mornings, but we'll be here on Sunday night and Wednesday evening. So uh, he's let the elders know that, and so I'm letting the family know that we won't see him, see him that much on Sunday morning because of his work. So, Frederick, we're glad to have you and glad that you're a part of the work here. So as we begin tonight, let's go to our Father in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for this time, the good health that you've given us to be together tonight, Father. Father, we are always astounded every time we study your word. For our Father, we're just so thankful for your word and the truths that are taught, the simplicity of it, Father. We ask, Father, as we study your word that we will... Put it into our lives, Father, but we will not keep it within ourselves, Father, but we will go out and teach others. Father, I'm thankful for your son. Thankful, Father, for the blood that he shed for us that purchased your body here, Father, that purchased your body worldwide. Father, we're thankful for Terrell and John and their obedience to your gospel and added to your body here, Father. We pray as they continue to grow physically, Father, that they will grow in wisdom and through your word and the wisdom of your word, Father. Help us to be an encouragement to them. 
Father, we're thankful for Frederick. We're thankful for his zeal for your word, and we pray that you would be with him as he continues to study your word, that again, that we can, be, uh, that we can build him up, and he can continue to build us up as he has done the elders tonight. Father, we're grateful again for this time in which we can bow before you now at this time and sing songs of praise. We can praise your name through song, and we can hear your word proclaimed. So help us as we do that to put what we hear from Derek into, into our lives and, and go out and tell others about you. Father, we love you and thank you so much for what you mean to us. And it's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. Number 283, 283. And the song of encouragement this evening will be 113. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a precious something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with, with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. 
Now, first, we'll say this out of the out of the gates. We understand that the time period of, of miracles has ended. We can read it and talk about that from First Corinthians. Uh, but we talk about this section here of Scripture. Here is a man that has been is lame from his mother's womb. He can't walk. He is doing the only work he can do, and that is to beg, to beg for alms, to beg for any type of support from somebody else to help him to gain the monetary needs that he has for his daily living. And so here he is, and he begs. Now Peter and, now Peter and John, they would have the ability, they would have the ability to, to, just, to just heal him. But he speaks to him first. And when he thinks he's going to receive this silver or gold or some type of gift, Peter says, silver and gold. Silver and gold, I don't have. What I do have, I give to you. And we've already said that the, the miraculous is over with as far as in our time period. Uh, and, and, and we see that uh, throughout scripture, but what do we have to offer? We really have the same kind of thing that he had offered here, and that was Jesus Christ. Now here in this incident, uh, uh, incident he is able to write, uh, raise him up for him to walk and to have strength immediately. A miracle was performed here. But we have Jesus. We have the Messiah. We have the gospel message to share with people. Yes, we can help people with uh, monetary needs. We can help them, you know, recover after a disaster. We can help them in so many ways. But the best thing we can do for people is to share with them the gospel of Jesus Christ. And in doing so, we will bless their lives and their lives will be blessed through the Lord. It says, so leaping up, he stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. And I have to imagine that if we would share the gospel of Jesus Christ with those around us, they too would have this similar type of reaction in regards to their eternity. Walking and leaping and praising God. Let us be people we use every opportunity, no matter the circumstances, to represent Christ and to preach Christ and Him crucified. If there's anything we can do for you tonight, whether prayers to the church or tonight you want to put on Christ in baptism, please come as we stand and as we sing. Sweetly, Lord, have we heard thee calling
I was asked to add two more names to uh, for you to be praying for, and Tim, if you would just include them in your closing prayer. Uh, Bob Allen is homesick, not doing very well, and so keep him in your prayers. And also, Lida Hood, she fell, and we don't know all of the details, but we believe that she may have to have stitches. I don't think it's critical, but it's uh, obviously a problem when you fall and hit your head, so keep her in your prayers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we've had this evening to study your word, sing songs, and praise your name. We pray our service this evening has been pleasing to you and in accordance with your word. Father, as we expand our evangelism, we ask you to bless us with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the courage to step out of our safe zones and work on the goal of saving lost souls. Father, we have a great number of our family here that are having physical problems. As was mentioned earlier, Brother Bob is having some difficulties and Miss Lida is going to have to have possible surgery. We ask if you would to be with all of those that we know that are sick, those that are having to have surgeries, those that have cancer. We just ask if you be with the doctors that are administering to them, be with the nurses and the family members and us as we strive to help them in any way that we can. Father, please be with the Dean Nettles family as they have lost uh, his mother and they have this time that they have to learn to be able to move on without her in their lives. Father, we ask if you would to be with them and be with us as we work with them and strive to give them the courage and strength to move on. Father, we wish to pray for Brother Ray, Boyd, and A.J. Bracey this evening as they have stepped forward and asked for the prayers of the church dealing with their ability to control their tempers and Father we just ask if you would to be with them especially and assist them in striving to contain their temperament and be more like Jesus Christ. Father we do ask if you would to bless us with a safe trip this evening to our destinations and be with us on our when we come back again, in Christ's name we pray, amen.